Gospel of November the 4th, 2014, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner, to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you to consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you to consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house in a rage commanded his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out, and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, Go out to the highways and hedge crows, and make people come in to my house, that it, that it may be filled, for I tell you, None of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The scene of this gospel today develops on the house of the chief of the Pharisees, of one of the chiefs of the Pharisees, who invited to dine Jesus. And while the Lord is at table, the Lord started teaching that Pharisee that when he, whenever he gave a feast, a banquet, he should invite precisely those that, is, that are related in the parable, the blind, the crippled, the poor, and the lame, because they, were, they would be unable to repay him, and thus he would be repaid when the righteous resurrected in the end of the time. Thus he was telling him that if he did that, love the poor that were not able to repay him, Materially, he was to be repaid with the resurrection, taken into account that action as righteousness. Today we see another of the Pharisee that perhaps is trying to get along well with the Lord by saying this, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. But the Lord makes it clear to him what is the situation. The man that gave, that gave the great dinner is none other than the Father. And as we can read it in the other Gospels, in the Synoptics, it is a wedding banquet, a wedding party, and the wedding is of his son. It is the Father that is giving out a great party because his son is getting wet. And he invited many. But the first, the first people that were invited declined to attend. They were very rude. One of them said, well, I just purchased a field. I must go on my business. Another, again for a business, I purchased a joke of oxen, five jokes, five joke of oxen. And the last one, another excuse, I just married a woman. None of them attended, all of them asked to be excused. And in doing so, they refused the greatest of all gifts. The Lord at the end says, I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. He does not say that they will be thrown into the fire for the love and the mercy of God is great. But we can easily reflect on the Jews, on the Israelites that were the first invited to the dinner of the Lord, who refused. How could they be saved if they rejected Yeshua, that is, Jesus, the salvation of God? Prior to the Incarnation, the Passion, the Death and Resurrection of Jesus, the Heaven Gate was literally closed for us. There was no way for salvation. 
But the Lord, who his blood opened through his obedience, opened the door for everyone who accepted him. He says in the Gospel of John, Eternal life consists of this, to know the Father and He whom the Father sent. We cannot go to the Father unless we go through Jesus Christ, so it is paramount that we accept the Lord. But rather than trying to figure out what happened to those, let us find out whether we are in the same place Maybe we have been baptized, but we are delaying in answering the invitation. What banquet is the Lord talking about? Certainly, the definitive eternal banquet will be in heaven. But right away, today or tomorrow and every day, His banquet is none other than the Eucharist. In the Eucharist, it is God Himself who comes down to us in the person of the priest and prepares His own banquet for you and me. In that way, we are already enjoying and give our, giving our own personal response to the Lord's invitation to His party, to His banquet. We are getting ready for the last day when we might be resurrected and be present in that eternal feast in heaven. Let us work hard not to become like the first invitees that were left out, but rather at least be like the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame, who finally were able to assist without any merit, but because they were invited. Let us take haste in going, first to the Eucharist, and to prepare our mind, our conscience, our hearts, to receive each and every day our Lord, as He truly is, God and owner of all of us. May we understand that, and do what is correct, and what is expected of us, until we are happy at that big eternal banquet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.